Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're having a fantastic day today, and today we're going to take a look at Handmances. What is Handmances? It is essentially a rock, paper, scissors with good graphics, so we're going to get along with it. Right now there is only... Oh, I should probably, I should join the Discord server so that I can unlock that character. But right now, we just got the one character. We have Cress, and Cress has 10 cards, and the Bracelet of Fury for every 3 missing hit points, you get 1 damage. You get 3 blades, 3 blade damage, 1 stone damage, and 1 parchment damage. Rock, paper, scissors. And let's go. So how does it play? It actually plays pretty damn fun. So, like a lot of these games, you will follow a path. And once we get into it, we find ourselves a slimy. So, this is the uh, attack line sort of thing. As you can see, he's going to use rocks or stones. So we are going to counter that with a parchment. If you win, you cause a damage based on the damage of the card, and you're and if you tie, you do no damage. If you lose, you take damage from them. So let's throw some paper at him. Next is scissors, so we can counter that with rock. If you run out of cards, instead of a draw, you have sprint. Every time you sprint, you get a cramp card. A cramp card is always a loss. So, as you can see here, we have a gem on this card. Cards can have three gems. They can have two little gems and a big gem. So this one will deal three damage and a two bleeding. As you can see, their effects go up the top. And we kill him. And at the end of each battle, you get to pick three out of eight. So what do we have here? Deal three for each card in your hand. Discard all cards in your hand. Deal one damage, grant one courage. We'll grab that one. So how do you upgrade your cards? You pick gems, and then you go like, mm, let's throw a gem on this one. And then it'll hammer the gem on there. And then what else do we have? Discard one random card, draw two. Flick three weakness. What else do we have at the beginning of combat, grant empower. So, beginning of combat, grant plus one damage. At the beginning of combat, inflict two weakness. End of combat, heal five. End of the turn, deal one damage. We'll take that one. And... Uh, I mean, I sort of like... Why not? Throw that one there. And then we go on to the next battle. And this should be the big bad wolf, if I remember correctly. Oh no, it's, oh, it's this thing. This one here will steal a card at the start of the turn. No. Oh no, this one... When I was playing this just to test it out, this one here, he had a uh, perk where he, at the start of each turn he would steal a card. It was annoying. Instead, this one is if he wins, he 
causes a bleed. So what do we have here? So we got now we've got two. So we've got stone and scissors. So we got paper and rock. And because we got this, he takes an extra damage for each one. So now we'll go that one there. We'll do sprint. As you can see, we get that card, but we do get a stone so that we can win. And we just pounded him. <coughs> he had no chance at all. I like it when they have no chance. Okay, so what do we have here? Deal one damage for every three cards draw in this fight. Deal five damage if this card has three gems. Deal three. Deal one damage for every one gems activated this turn. Every t three times you play parchment, inflict one. I don't have that many parchments at the end of combat five. Your cramp cards inflict weakness and your cramps and gain a one damage you know what we'll grab this and well there's only two cards that we can put that on so i do love how the cards how the images on the cards do upgrade as you put things on them can i put that one on there I can. So now we have a card with three gems. So deal five damage if the card has three gems. Deal three damage for each card in your hand and deal one damage two times. So that'll be three, eight, eleven, thirteen damage for that card now. And. Might as well just grab that one as well. And we'll put that one... Throw that one on there. We'll get that one upgraded a little bit. And now, we get on with... So you will be able to pick three different bosses as you go along. But we only have one right now, so we'll just pick him. Okay, so what do we have here? So we've got the tavern and the temple. We'll go this way so we can go to the tavern. The tavern, you can pick a food. The food will give you a buff for the run. Sort of like a perk. So this one is five hit points, but you lose partial damage. This one is one base damage, but lose two hit points. That one, one parchment damage, one blades damage, and plus three blades base damage. That would work well with what we got going. It's max hit points. It's two stone base. We'll go with that one. Because we're pretty um, blades heavy right now anyway. Duplicate one of your gems. I don't mind if I do. Which gem will we duplicate? Drag one of the gems from the reflection of your cards on the left to a new compatible spell on the right. Let us... Go another bleed. Because why not? Bleeds are fun. So, now we've got two bleeds and we are, okay. And we are bleed heavy, so we're just going to run into the bleeds. You watch, this one just going to throw stones at me like left, right, and center. So this one at the end of every turn generates a tornado, this discards all the cards, doesn't allow you to check your pile. So got parchment. 
there. And we'll just take the, uh, the mulligan there. Okay, so what do we have here now? Scissors, rock, and rock. Oh, we'll deal the damage. I mean, he's dead anyway. I mean, blades seem pretty, um, pretty terrifying in this game, let's admit it. Trying to inflict bleed, one more bleed. Grant one strength and add one weakness, why not? I thought I only picked two. I'm sure I only picked two. But anyway, now we have the boss. Much like the other games that run paths like this, you get a boss and then you go on to the next level. And the boss has three... And Uh, we're just gonna have to go. Oh, wait, this one. I don't know. Works well. No, it doesn't. That hurt. Where are all my. Why don't I have any parchments? Ah. <sighs> God, I don't have any parchments, which means, although next turn, I'm pretty sure he just does three, I knew it, I mean, I'm going to do some good damage on this one, there you go, took him down to half health in the first Now we got that, that, if we can do that. I mean, we might still win. You never know. I need... Uh, actually, I don't know. No, I lost. Uh, I lost. But, I mean, it's how it goes. It's how it goes. So, at the end, it gives you... Basically, what you had in your cards. It gives you all the normal stuff. And it says, thank you for playing. And, uh, if you like what you see, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. As I said, I will be leaving the uh, link down in the bottom. I may make a second video video once I unlock this this fine gentleman and uh, yeah I hope you have a wonderful day